Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to FTB Skies, where in the last episode we set up this wonderful story system like here, like here, right here, which is working wonders. And we also set up this, of course, which has been a lifesaver, almost quite literally. Um, now, I was told really quickly, as you can see, we have 23 oak planks in here. If I go ahead and do a search for this should be J.I. Sync. So if I go ahead and search for chest and I go here and I say, you know what, move the planks over and then I hold down shift and click, it only does one. Well, apparently there is one of these that I triggered auto refill crafting grid, network player, network and player. There we go. So now if I go ahead and do this, I don't know if I actually have enough wood now, but Okay, I don't. Hold on. Give, give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay, I, I still need more wood. I still need more wood. Um, One moment. All right, I'm just going to demonstrate it with some sticks here. As you can see, it is now re refilling the crafting table. So that is very useful. Thank you very much. Now, today, with that out of the way, we are going to be upgrading our power because currently we are only generating kinetic power, which is uh, powering these sifters, which is absolutely awesome. However, we're not having actual, like, power power, like electricity, like, buzz buzz, you, you, you get sapped. We only have this generator, which is currently powering the mechanical squeezer, which is not quite enough. We want the power network. So we're going to be setting up that up today. I think I'm going to be clearing this dirt out so that we can have a little bit of a power plant area right here in this corner. All right. I think this place is suitable. So now if we go ahead and take a look in the quest line here into powering up, we have already made this uh, generator right here. But as you can see, we have some other options. We have wind generators, heat generators and solar generators from mechanism, which I definitely want to take a look at. However, to make the solar and wind generators, we're going to be needing power because we need these the infused alloy, which means we're going to be needing some metallurgic infusers. Now, I don't remember. Yes, the heat generator actually doesn't require us to make the metallurgic infuser uh, whatsoever, and that can be used by placing lava around it. So that is going to be the first machine that we go ahead and make, and we might actually have all that we need. In order to do this, why can't I? That is weird. Hmm. Oh yeah, I need to. I need to do this. There we go. Uh, I am missing iron ingots, osmium, and furnace, all of which I should actually have in here. So let's see. Uh, silver and ink. I should have. Yep, yeah, that should be osmium, and that should be iron right there. So I'm gonna set this cook to cook. I'm gonna split this coal in between it. Oh, I already have iron. Okay, sweet. That is perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna need to set up some uh, refinery for some of these things. I'm planning to set up some furnaces today as well. I actually just need to get one osmium ingot for us to get started here. And then I think we're in business. Why can't it see this stuff? Okay, now it's just the furnace it's missing. Okay, that makes sense. There we go. Do this and then boom, heat generator has been created. Now, just as it is, it's not going to generate anything. We could give it lava inside of it to boost it, but it, is, it should anyway be making power just from having lava around it. There's also this, by the way, the pitiful generator from Industrial Foregoing right here, which we could make as well, which could be kind of fun and interesting. I might make it. Um, but to begin with, we are also going to be needing some power cables. And we do have the pipes mod which we can use an energy pipe. However, I would love mechanism. I would love to use the pipe from mechanism uh, just to keep things like, well, mechanism E. So let's take a look here. Basic universal cable. Let's tag that real quick. Yeah, I would need steel for that. And in order to get steel, I'm going to be needing to get a yeah, steel dust, and we need to get that from, yes, this. So we need a couple of metallurgic infusers, which is a good thing that we're making more osmium. So we could go ahead and actually make a few of these. We'll connect it to the generator over there, and then we can set up uh, the stuff. So let's go ahead and put this into here. Then let's see how many can we make. We need to get a couple of furnaces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's make ten. 
Let us go ahead and make 10. There we go. We're not going to make this right now. We're going to make this. And I think we're going to need one for coal, one for redstone, and I believe one for something else. But let's save it. Let's save it. Right now, what we're going to be needing is steel. So we need to get enriched iron, which is coal. Then steel dust, which is also coal into... Yeah. So if we go ahead and place this here. That is going to get power from this coal right here. And I should be able to grab that from here as well. Pop that in there. Boom. And then go ahead and get any iron, if I'm not mistaken. If I go ahead and maybe get 16. And I'm also going to be needing well, more coal, actually. <laughs> so let's go ahead and grab that. Just a stack will be fine. Because, yeah, then we're going to go ahead and make enriched iron, which is coal. Then steel dust which is also coal, so... Oh, but I need to make it into dust first, so I'm gonna need a hammer if I have one. I do not have one, but I th think this should do it. If I go ahead and do this, iron plate. No, that's plates. I need dust. Hold on. Iron dust. How are we gonna make this? Iron dust. Are you telling me I need to make a crusher in order to do this? Oh, uh, boy. <laughs> Looks like it. Looks like it, unless we make a pulverizer first, which is not something that I really want to do. Crusher then, huh? Yeah, that's... Hmm. Maybe a pulverizer is... There has to be an easier way of making iron dust. It does indeed look like that the pulverizer is going to be the easiest way for us to get pulverized iron. But before we do that, we can go ahead and collect all of our rewards. Okay, that was a lot. That, that was a lot. Um, let's go into here. Lava bucket, I'll take it. Lord Chapel, I'll definitely take it. Diamond upgrade is cool. Uh, don't know what that is. We got a linking tool and a configuration tool, which we already have. Wood to iron chest upgrade. This is actually some pretty nice stuff. Not too bad whatsoever. Some speed upgrades as well for some of this stuff. Some salt. Yeah. I mean, I'll take it. Anyway, that should be enough tin. So we can go in here. And make the tin gear. I have already made all the other stuff. Just need to make the machine frame. Which is also a quest. And then I just need... Oh yeah, flint. So I'm going to need to get the gravel. And I should have my shovel. I do indeed. Where's my chopping board? That is... Just going to do this until I get to flint. That's one. And that's two. Perfect. Get that out of here. Put that in there. Pulverizer. Boom. Okay, so now I should be able to place this here. This is going to gather power very, very slowly, might I add. And then I'm going to be needing some... I guess I might as well use raw iron. I don't know if there is a benefit. Uh, iron dust. Don't know if there's a benefit. So that is a one-to-one -one ratio. Okay, so we might get a little bit of a nickel. I guess we might as well do that then. Okay, we're getting generated just enough power from this thing to keep the pulverizer running. That's actually pretty decent. Then we can dump stuff in here as we do that. So now we can go ahead and grab a stack of coal. We can put that in there. That is going to fill it up with carbon. We're generating iron dust. And I could actually go ahead and automate this a little bit and get a pipe as well as a wrench. I could go ahead and do... No, uh, that's really not what I wanted to do. But that's fine. If I just <laughs> go in here and I say output on the left and I set this to output. And then I say input. That's dark red. That should ah auto output disabled. Project on. That's not it. This is the items configuration. Items config input dark red output input. It should be accepting items if I'm not mistaken. Now it's enabled. That's weird. That's odd. I feel like that should work, but I guess I'll just have to do it manually, which is fine. We can put this in here. I don't think 
What on earth am I doing wrong? I'm dumb. I knew I had already researched this. I knew I had already researched this. I thought something was off. Right. Iron into this. Enrich the iron. Then we're gonna get to put the iron back in. And then we should have a steel so that we can make the universal cable. I'm so sorry. I, yeah, I already researched this. I thought I was prepared. Well, in the meantime, I am just preparing to be able to place lava in a pit just to see how much power we will actually be able to generate from the heat generator. So I'm just going to go ahead and place some cobblestone bricks around here. And I'm also going to need to get rid of this, of course, and this just to make the place look a little bit nicer, just like that. And my plan is to then have lava and then actually place the heat generator right there. Uh, I guess that's doable. Ooh, but we need to... looks like it needs to output the power from the side. Which I guess that can be arranged. Alright, yep, that should work. And with that said, I'm pretty sure this... nope, that's only halfway done. Alright. <laughs> that's fair, I suppose. Let's see how much lava we actually have. Only two. Ugh. Only two. Well, I can place one below it. Don't know how much effect that's going to have. And then I can place one like right here. That's then going to flow around it. And we'll see how much we make from that. We'll start there in a way. There we go. Enriched iron. Put that back in. And that should give us steel dust. If I am not too mistaken. In the meantime, it would actually be ideal. I can't use all the lava. Because I need to use some for the dripstone. Actually, I have the automatic squeezer. I have the automatic squeezer. What am I talking about? Take a stack of blaze powder put that in here and that oh that's filling the drying basin i don't need that to did it just disappear i guess it just disappeared uh where is my tank <laughs> that just disappeared that's weird but okay i guess it burned up i guess it burned up and that would make sense all right so i'm doing that uh, we do have enough power going. Yes, we still do have enough power going. Now with this steel, I should be able to cook it. Take this osm osmium out. But yeah, then I can set up a dripstone thing. I'm probably not even going to set up a dip, uh, dripstone thing. Because this is going to be plenty of lava for the future. At, at, for the current time being anyway. So that's the first steel ingot right there. We can take that off the list. And then... Boom, stealing it just like that, universal cable, boom, done. Good enough for now anyway. Which means I can now go ahead and do this. I can put a lava bucket underneath, place that. So that is generating a slight amount of energy. Very, very slight amount. If I place lava there, that is going to speed it up significantly. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill my buckets again. There we go, and I'm gonna cover all sides. I don't know if putting in the corners is actually going to have an effect, but I'm gonna do that. And it looks like it is generating like a thousand RF every like uh, second or so, maybe? It is slow though. <laughs> it is very slow, so I think it's, yeah, now it's filling up the cables. But we're, we're just taking it as the quest line uh, tells us to, essentially. I don't think putting it there is actually going to have an effect, so I don't think I will. But yeah, that's our first power generation. Obviously, we need a place to actually store that power, which is where the basic energy cube comes in. Um, which means we need to make some energy tablets, which means we need infused alloy. Which means we need to put some redstone uh, into this metallurgic infuser right here. And I'm also going to need some more iron. Uh, 15? No, feel like that's gonna do it 24 is gonna do it uh and i'm just gonna set this up for the time being over here put the rest on in there put the iron in there get the remaining steel cooking because we're gonna need that because while that is cooking up and doing its thing we can potentially take a look at the, making this just for the for the, for the fun of it uh, i'm gonna take this out now put you in uh, yeah, we're gonna make this to see how much power it actually makes. All right, pity machine frame right there. I, I thought that was that fire actually like spreading. That would have been not fun. Two more iron ingots here. I think I need two more. 
which is a good opportunity to sleep because I don't want any bad guys to spawn. And that village, we're potentially gonna take a look at that village today, depending on the speed of our progression. <laughs> but there we go, two remaining iron ingots right there, which means we can go ahead and make some iron bars and then we can go ahead and make the pitiful generator. We're gonna place this here and let's see. Uh, so I assume that that is going to take like coal. Let's just hook it up to the system anyway. We have plenty of coal. Let's hook it up to the system and see how much power it actually will be generating us. Uh, let's put it maybe... Yeah, right here for now. Put this in. So it's de generating decent power. And that is actually from one piece of coal. So we'll just leave that there. That way we can boost our power if we need to. Uh, well, actually, don't fall in. I'm gonna place it over here. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> there we go. Right. So I really want to make windmills and solar generators. Uh, but I think... So if we want to make wind generators, we're going to be needing basic control circuits, energy tablets. So that's infused alloy right there. Uh, we're making that basically. How much for this? So I need to set up some osmium to go in here So 16 I'm hoping it's going to be enough If this is done, it's not done. As soon as this is done, I can put in The osmium in here and then we should have everything that we need in order to make the energy tablets and basic control circuits Which means we can set up some wind generators and also some solar powered thingies Do need to make this though, which again is infused alloy. So Basically just waiting for this alloying stuff to finish. All right, so we now are able actually to make wind generators, well, energy tablets, and we're getting basic control circuits made as we speak. So I should be able to make one, two. Let's make two for now, because that would be one wind generator. Then I just need one basic control circuit, which is being cooked up right over here. In fact, we have three. Nope, make that four. There we go. Also another quest complete. We're powering through this. So I should be able to do this actually. There we go. This is our first wind generator, and I'm going to place it right here. So this is generating quite a nice amount of power, and we can actually have multiple of them all connecting to the network. I'm going to connect this right there, and then I think the next step, I definitely want to make more of this. Uh, these, I want to have by like maybe five or so by the end of this, all on a line. Um, and also solar panels, of course, but I think the next step is actually to make a basic energy cube so we can actually store our power and then use it from this specific point. Uh, also, because we do have this in here, I think if we go down to overpowered end game right here, generate forge energy, we can unlock this. We actually do get a battery, a battery with 6 million capacity. So that's cool. That means I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be making this the task screen. Because the task screen, uh, as I will get into in just a moment, if I just do that, uh, as it says in getting started, progression, yes, progression right here. Turn it in. Certain tasks don't just need you to have something. You have to submit it. For items, that's easy. Just have it in your inventory and click the task. For fluids and energy, you have to use task screens. Place the task screen and set the task into the UI. From there, you can pipe what's needed into the task screen to progress the task. So, our current task, uh, so we need to do that. And then our current task down here in Overpowered is to generate 10,000 FE, which we should be able to do very easily. And then, of course, we will get a 6 million battery. Then, as soon as we have generated 100,000 and gathered 100 buckets of honey, we will then unlock precision budding and atomic alloying, which is going to be really cool, especially the budding, because that means we will be able to upgrade to a more powerful mesh. Which, speaking of which, uh, which speaking of which, that, that doesn't make sense. I'm gonna take these nine iron ingots. Uh, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, yes, one, two. I'm gonna make some bad steel. Three. Okay, so I need those two to be converted as well, which means more coal. <laughs> I don't know how much. Uh, 16 ought to do it, I think. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But with mana steel, we will be able to upgrade our meshes. But first, we're going to go ahead and make a task screen after making a book. 
after making a canvas, I was told how I could actually get the straw very, very easily. Hold on, give me a second. There we go, the fifth man of steel, and I have figured out how to do it. I'm going to be needing a knife, and I'm going to be needing a bone meal, and then I'm going to be needing dirt, and also, if I just put this away, this thing right there. Just like we did in the last episode, we're going to make a little bit of a grass area, which I probably should dedicate an area to, to be completely fair. Put this in, that's going to generate vanilla grass. And I can bone meal that to get tall grass, and then knifing this should sometimes give us a uh, straw. Which is way easier than having to rely on the rice. <laughs> so thank you so much for that. Uh, it is not a 100% drop chance, but... I'd still much rather prefer doing this than relying on the rice because that was a painful process. All right, make the canvas, then go ahead, make the book, and now we can go ahead and make the task screen. Good. Now I am still going to make this battery, but for now I think we can just plop this here. Then I can select task and I can do 10,000 FE. Skin uh, power RF. Yeah, I don't know what skin is. Sure, why not? Uh, draw text shadows, indestructible input only. I. There we go. There we go. Je quest completed. <laughs> quest completed. Uh, progression. There we go. We turned it in, and we got another task screen. And we generate a power, which means we now have a battery and some conducts. And we'll take a look at this in just a moment. But this battery right here is going to be pretty cool. I'm going to pick this up. We now have two task screens. And I'm going to put this battery... Let's, let's see how it looks. So, northwest. Okay, so that is pretty basic. Please tell me I can pick this up. Okay, good. Uh, tree of impending doom. Just add water. Or lava. That works too. Anyway, I think I'm just going to place the battery for now right here. Kinda in the middle of everything. In fact, right here. Boom. Uh, then I'm going to run these over. We're going to make some more of these. This is going to be our battery, so we are actually not going to be making basic energy cube. Just some more uh, basic universal cables, which should be very easy to do. Uh, one, two, yeah. That should be fine. That should be fine for our needs. I want to make more wind generators. This should be done as well. So I can get those 12 taken in. And let's see how many of these we can actually make. So it kind of depends on the amount of energy tablets that we can make. Uh, that's three windmills in total. Let's make it four. Five. Let's make five windmills in total. I might actually not have enough infused osmium to do this fully. Let's see. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, uh, sorry, I uh, did it. Uh, if you say like, <laughs> so I need just a little bit more iron. Looks like I need to cook some. If I am not already, which I am in fact not. Get the iron. I really need to connect this to this. I don't know if that is fully doable. I assume that it is, but I am not sure how at this point in time. All right, that should be all. So that. Is going to be the fourth and then that is the fifth over there perfect so four wind generators and i think i've got to do it with like four four spaces in between yeah that looks fine i think one two three four and one two three four that's very close to the that's actually very close um not sure if i like the look of that but i guess i can move that over I'm going to connect all of this. How much can they carry? Capacity 3.2 KFE a tick. How much do you output? Okay, 380 something. That's fine. We should be able to deal with that. Plus we're getting uh, a decent output from this. Producing max output 408. Could I see this in here as well? Producing. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Connect this. This is charging. At a pretty decent rate, you know. That's actually not too bad whatsoever, all things considered. We can add more windmills back here as well in the future, which will be nice. 
Speaking of which, I do have an extra, so I'll add it right there. Yeah, I'll, I'll make it. I'm, I'll make it look better. I'll probably move things over so it's actually five spaces in between. Actually, let me do that because uh, it, it's kind of triggering me <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> so there we go. That like that. I'm even going to go ahead and move the battery over. Hopefully it doesn't lose uh, over half a million FE. It does not. So let's put that there. Let's move this over one as well. Let's grab this. Hopefully it doesn't fall in the void. We're good. I really need a pipe. A pipe? No, a wrench to pick these up much faster than just using the pickaxe. Because this is painful. Anyway. Uh, fifth one. Actually, I moved it the wrong way, didn't I? I didn't know I could climb these. Apparently you can climb these. Okay, that's a bit dangerous. Not recommended. Don't do that. Uh, place this here. Place that there. Yeah, that looks better. That already looks better. That's awesome. Do I go into the world of solar generators? I don't know if I do go into the world of solar generators. I would need more energy tablets. I need more solar panels. Hmm, I guess it's just primarily the alloy, which is an issue, which I should be able to make fairly easily. You know what, if I set this to cook, let's take a look at something else in the meantime, because I now have mana steel. So I now have mana steel meshes, which we can use for these right here, because they are going to be better. So for the mana steel, actually, let's take uh, dust as an example. Let's take dust. So andesite mesh, we have this stuff. But with mana seal, we get more things such as cinnabar, certus quartz, uh, which actually looks like beans that we need to... Actually, I'm going to add these because I need to make sure that I have space in my storage thing so it does uh, the system doesn't get uh, blocked. So let's take a look at here. We definitely get... Uh, how much do we get? Three items more, actually. Looks like we get fluorite, raw uranium, and geode from the gravel and from the sand. Let's take a look at the sand real quick. Uh, so that is not what we have. There we go. Nope. Nope, that is waterlogged. This is not waterlogged. Need to find... That's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that doesn't change. That's good. Final one is the dirt and also the soul sand that I just need to look through. So that is... That's that. That's andesite. That also doesn't change. That is perfect. And then this has the final one. Man of Steel. Yep, that's the same as well. So one, two, three, four, five new slots I need to make. So that is going to be five new drawers. Oh, I already have drawers. Okay, well, that's perfect then. <laughs> I, th I think I'm just going to add them up there at the way top. I think that's probably going to be the easiest. And I need to make sure that they're connected and everything. Can I? Ow. Okay, just going to do it from down here. Connect, connect, connect. Need a few tools. I need the linking tool, of which I have two now, and also controller tool. Configuration tool, that's what it's called. Lock them. I'm not gonna lock them. Where am I? I. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, I might have to lock them. But then I don't know when I actually get the stuff. I'm gonna try and keep them unlocked. And then I'll just have to manually be like, no, you don't belong here. Oh, we're, out of new, we're, we're out of space for... Actually, hold on. I have upgrades. I have upgrades for this stuff. I think copper upgrades are going to be fine. So for the redstone, we're running out of space. So you're going to get into copper, a copper upgrade. Quartz is running out. And then iron is running out as well. So I actually do need three. And then... What's iron? Right there. Now I can take this out, and then I can go ahead and add this. I think shift right click to remove the underside mesh. 
and right click. So if I just do this, remove all of them. Oh, stop going in my hand. That's annoying. <laughs> you really shouldn't do that. There we go. Uh, then place these in. And that should be that. I'm pretty sure. Yep. We're running with metal steel meshes. And there we go. That's our first one. So we can go ahead and lock that now. That is Curtis Quartz Dust. Everything else should be able to find the place eventually, because those are not locked. As soon as we get it, it should go right in there, which is perfect. All right, everything should be in place. Now you may be wondering why on earth are you making uh, cooking bricks and then making brick blocks? Well, that is because I am making a redstone furnace to add to our system. So we can add it in just like that. And I'm gonna try and give it some iron or gold or something that I know that we're going to use specifically iron. And I just want to see how our power system actually keeps up. Yep, it's actually filling it at a pretty decent speed even though this is cooking and this also seems faster in general. So that's an upgrade right there. Now, I made everything that we need in order to go ahead and make solar generators. So I should be able to make one. I'm out of fast meal. <laughs> I'm out of osmium. Where's osmium? Osmium is somewhere. This is osmium. I'm gonna give that. I'm. Mm, can I make another furnace? Can I make another furnace? Actually, hold on. Let's see how much this is going to be. Yeah, that would be a lot. Well, you can see the entire process then, if you are interested. If not, well then, do watch it anyway. We need to make a machine frame. Need to go ahead and make a tin gear, which I cannot because apparently I do not even have any iron nuggets remaining. Go ahead and make the tin gear. There we go. I need, I'm need. i going to be needing some more bricks and I'm also going to be needing more glass. That glass is secured, so that is the machine frame done. I just need to go ahead and get some more bricks, of which I have clay. And I'm going to cook it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Add that to there. And now we wait. And with the bricks cooked, we can now go ahead and make another redstone furnace for the osmium. Perfect. And this is halfway there. Pretty cool. And we're still filling the furnaces with power at a pretty decent speed as well. We could probably have, as soon as we add these, we could probably have like four or five of these furnaces going at once, which is pretty cool. All right, here we go. Solar generator two and solar generator number three. Let's take, let's place this one and see how much we, we generate. That's noisy. That's very noisy. Um, right. Well, we are definitely producing FE. Slowly, though. Very, very slowly. So I think I'm going to add this. Uh, maybe like right here. I'm going to have like one here, one here, and one here. And that is going to contribute. Hopefully, this is not in the way, but this is going to contribute to our energy production. It's almost full. We almost have half a million. Well,. 5 million, sorry, RF. That's actually, that's not bad. Do we have overpowered? Hold on. Uh, 100,000. Yeah, yeah, we can report that, except f for the honey, but 1 million, definitely can report that. 100 million, not quite there yet, but we're making progress. We're making some pretty decent progress. The final thing that I want to take a look at today is going to be jetpacks yes now that we have power and i'm pretty sure we can reach our stuff in here yep we can make jetpacks which allows for exploration a lot easier so we're going to be making a jetpack so the diamond jetpack we have plenty of jetpacks if we go into here jetpack we have a bunch of tiers we have like platinum emerald etc steel but the diamond one is going to be the highest tier that we make it can hold 30 million fe that should be plenty for our needs so in order to make the diamond one, we need to either get an Invar steel or gold jetpack. Of course, we're going to pick the gold one because we have plenty of gold. To make the gold, we need the iron or the bronze or the silver. We're going to make the iron, which means we're going to be needing the, the stone or the copper. Sorry, I did not mean to click the bronze. We're going to go to the copper or the stone. I guess stone is cheapest and then wood. So to get the wood one, we're going to be needing... Uh, yeah, we're just going to be needing one leather strap and then these 
thrusters and wood capacitors. So the, this means we need to get leather, which means apparently I need to get creative because I didn't think this through. <laughs> uh, let's take a look here. Cutting board, cutting stuff up. Ooh. Getting leather for this might be a bit tricky. Maybe a bit tricky. Hmm. I don't have any run flesh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no, I don't. And I don't think I have any way of actually making run flesh in any easy way. Crushing macerator? Well, I don't even have any of those, so that wouldn't really make much sense to do. Uh, right. I may have a solution, though. We have a visitor. We have a visitor. Wandering trader. Hello. For once in the Minecraft history, you are actually useful. Let's see. Okay. You are very disappointing. Huh. Well, um, can't access the inventory. That's okay. I guess he has nothing to offer. So he has been made completely useless then. I don't know. I don't feel like that's supposed to happen. But uh, anyway, I have this golden egg, which creates a 5x5 five five area of delightful dirt. And I feel like if I go ahead and make a couple of fences, that we could set something up here. Um, I just don't know if I want it right up next to my island or like on my island. Because probably quite a few things are going to be generated from it. So I'm kind of thinking to all the way over here, kind of maybe bridge out. Kind of like this. And then like maybe 20 blocks out, make a path. And then place it out here somewhere. Where it's a little bit away from me. I mean, even here is fine, to be honest. Yeah, I think let's do it here. So let's put... A five by five area in. So that's five. Do this. A little bit scary. Hold on, that was just one too much, I'm pretty sure. A little bit scary doing this because, uh, well, void. Yep, that's that. Then a border for the fence. And I will actually need one of these pasture seeds just to, I think? Let's work on. Use on grass dirt. Okay, I don't need that actually. So that is that. Uh, yeah, I don't need that. Okay, <laughs> that's cool. Uh, getting a fence gate is probably a good idea. Fence gate just to keep things out because I don't want to break and jump over fences. That gate would be nicer. All right. So my hope for this is that we actually get some cows to spawn. Hmm. I mean, you do give leather, don't you? All right, finally got the three leather. Finally, a cow spawned in, and we can go ahead and make our leather strap. Now that we have that, we need to go ahead and make a wood capacitor, which means we need to make a wood energy cell, and which means we need to get some basic uh, coils in here. So I'm going to be needing some iron, and probably not osmium, but definitely the iron. So. Uh, let's calculate how many we actually need. So we need three of these per uh, wood capacitor. So that is three in total. And we need three for each thruster. So that is nine. And then, so that's 11. I'm pretty sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I think that is it. So that is one, two, three. Then that is this. Then... I need one, two more, then two, oh, I need more oak. <laughs> okay, next episode, we, we need to set up at, at three something because I am running out of wood way too, way too fast and I really don't want to keep doing this manually. So next episode, yeah, the tree farm has to be made. All right, final wood thruster, and then we can make the go. Then we can go ahead and make the wood jetpack. This can only carry twenty fe. Not too. Not, not happy enough with that. We need to go ahead and make this, which also means we need to go ahead and make even more of this stuff right here. Which means I need to add a bunch of redstone to our system, which is fine. 
However, what I'm worrying about is the iron. Uh, well, let's see. So again, I'm going to be needing 11. One, two, three. I don't think I'm going to have enough iron. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, need more iron to smelt. All right, stone capacitor. Then stone thruster and stone thruster. And that together makes the stone jetpack with a capacity of a 100,000 FE. Then I'm going to need even more iron. But let's try this out. Let's add this in here. Don't know if it's going to save the power in it. Uh, don't know if it maybe fits in one of these slots. Maybe it does. It does. Okay, so I just need to take a look at the controls. All right, so a V to toggle the engine on or off. And G to toggle on hover mode. Now for the stone one, that's not very good. But I assume that the... The higher tier we get, the better it becomes. We are draining power quite fast. So that is something to keep in mind. And we can also increase and decrease the throttle. If we so wish. But that is pretty cool. That means we can easily get up to the villages now. Which means that that is going to be have to something that you look forward to in the next episode. Because I'm not quite happy with the stone uh, jetpack. We're going to upgrade that all the way to the diamond if possible. You know what? Even the emerald one. Getting the emerald one would be actually pretty cool. We have plenty of emeralds. I just need to smelt down a bunch of iron and a bunch of redstone and stuff like that in between episodes because then we're going to be exploring that village and potentially the nether as well. Let's just go ahead and take this and see if we get anything useful. We actually do. The crescent hammer that I have been wanting uh, for Tinker's Cosmos. So that is pretty cool. I can just go ahead and add this base powder to here. But guys, I really hope that you have enjoyed this episode. We did a lot of progress. We now have a lot of different ways of generating power. We're not generating a massive amount of power, but we are generating enough for now. We need to set up some automated system for handling the ores as well, so I don't have to manually go back and forth. But for now, adding some electric furnaces to our setup over here is probably going to be a good idea. So I'm probably going to do something like that uh, along those lines as well. But guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave it a like, subscribe if you're new, and enable those notifications so you don't miss the next episode. And one final note, I know that currently we are still on the starter island. I do want to expand the island in the future. And I am potentially going to do that over on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Binary Vigilante if you're interested. Go ahead and give the channel a follow. And also be sure to join my Discord because whenever I go live, I'm sure to post it in there. No matter where it is, whether or not it's on YouTube or Twitch, it will be posted there so you can get notified. Links to all that down below in the description. But well, that's it from me. Hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and until next time, goodbye.